What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got a couple of things to talk today But before getting into that uh, I got to clean the Jeep because it's been two weeks since jeeping with Judd I haven't I haven't done anything to the Jeep since that event. We're gonna go now We're gonna clean the Jeep and then after that we're gonna come back and talk about a couple of things So stay tuned for this video crazy I'm just watching my Jeep right now and there is another exit right next to me you guys you guys need to check this one out okay check these out guys Wow notch customs fender flares that thing is expensive dude JCR tire carrier bumper completely blacked out This is so crazy. The transmission and engine is remanufactured, so it, it works perfect. I do 90, 100 on the highway. The thing is that it's still kind of too slow, you know. No, I know, yeah, it's a 4 hour, every yeah. Day. yeah. So I want to at least go and then put 6.0. It works perfect. I have these three electrical fans, plus I have these two. I have a transmission radiator right here in front, and I have the... Oh, gotcha, yeah. I have the one for the power steering. And even with that, it still stays perfectly cool. And I love how you did this in here. That, that came out really nice. Yeah, I'm the only one. I contacted them. They couldn't give me any pictures. So they told me good luck. You know, I have the, the kid on the way, so. You did all the carpets and everything. Inside. Correct. I had to pre-cut the carpets and whatnot. This is that I put the sound dampener, mm -hmm. every inch of it. So the whole inside of the vehicle has this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah, it has it on all the doors and the whole bottom of it. Yeah. Alright guys, I finished watching the Jeep and I just want you guys to listen. Let's see if you guys can hear this in camera, okay? Just a muffler delete.
The Jeep is pretty clean, I mean sort of. It was just a quick clean just to get the dirt out of the way. But there's a couple of things that I want to talk to you guys that I forgot to mention in uh, previous videos. So first of all, I opened an Amazon store and that's pretty awesome. That's an opportunity that Amazon offers to some creators. So that's pretty cool. I've been very, very active for the last week or so. If you go to that store, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a lot of different listings. You're gonna see uh, steering components, uh, suspension components, lighting components. For example, my headlight. There's a lot of people that ask me about my headlights, so I'm including my headlights in there I'm also including these side markers. These are clear side markers uh, That a lot of people also ask me where do I get them? I just I got an Amazon and it's a pretty good deal It makes the Jeep look a lot better. I didn't like the orange ones that this Jeep came with I think they made it look uh, a lot older uh, so that's you know a couple of examples of things that you can get just go check it out I'm gonna put the link on the description so you guys can go and, and take a look at it if you like some of the products you can purchase from there and that's a great way to support the channel without you spending extra money because it's pretty much a product from Amazon that you can get just using my link second thing that I want to talk is about my fender flares okay because I also got a lot of questions about my fender flares what type of fender flares do I have if I like them or not First of all, I did a video a couple, couple of months ago about them. It wasn't a full detail video, but I think I pretty much said everything about my Fender Flares, if I liked them or not. But after I went to this event, GP Majot, a um, couple weeks ago, I actually tested these Fender Flares because, as you guys know, I don't have bump stops on my Jeep, so my tires were all the time hitting the Fender Flares. And I was kind of nervous about it because my Fender Flares, uh, as you guys know, these are Bushwalkers fender flares these are plastic fender flares and um, you know they don't offer a lot of protection to the Jeep itself so the tires were constantly hitting the fender flares and to my surprise they actually hold up very very well um, the Jeep did pretty well the fact that they remain intact the only real issue that I have with this uh, fender flares is actually that they are really really bad to install they never match you know they have two inner pieces and then the outer part which is the part that you guys can see but inside there are two inner pieces and they are kind of hard to install they never match so you have to trim the plastic parts so they can match and um, that's it that's that's the only complaint that I have about these fender flares I think they are one of the best looking fender flares for Jeep XJs in my particular opinion are this ones and uh, notch customs but the notch customs are just too expensive for me it's like 700 bucks I got this for $300 I think now they are about 400 or 500 dollars I believe so um, but yeah I'm very happy so far all right guys so that is a video for today my apologies for not posting in at least two weeks but I was kind of busy with my school in my full-time job but this week I have more free time so I'm gonna be able to post more videos also have uh, I think a couple two more videos that I'm gonna be doing this week uh, so just stay tuned for that thank you so much for the support thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and uh, hope to see you next time take it easy